Hey guys, Kirk from Desert Sportsman here. Uh, today, another fly tying demonstration for you guys. I'm going to be tying uh, a pattern that I was introduced to about a year ago and it's gained some popularity recently. It's called the Hyga's SOS, developed by a guy named Spencer Hyga out of Utah who's currently working for Falcon's Ledge. Um, it's a great pattern to fish when you can't figure out what the fish are eating or you just can't get anything to eat. Um, I've had a lot of success on it on those days where it's been tough and I just go to, uh, I go to an SOS and it, it absolutely just destroys them. Um, so I'm gonna be tying this today on a TMC 2457. This is a size 12 to help you guys see it. Um, and with a uh, small silver bead as, as kind of the weight in the head of the fly. All right, so how I'm gonna start this is with any fly. I'm gonna start with my base thread. Uh, UTC 140 denier in black. And I start my thread wraps and I come halfway down the shank. Cut the excess. And then the, the tail fibers for this, this fly are gonna be uh, just your, your standard pheasant tail. This one is in a melanistic black um, or just melanistic. If you can't get your hands on melanistic pheasant tail, uh, standard black works just fine. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off about eight to 10 fibers, make sure they're nice and even, and I'm gonna tie them in right about halfway. I do one securing thread wrap, just to make sure the length is the proper length. That looks about right for me, so now I'm gonna secure it with a couple more wraps and I'm gonna come up to the, the bead. Once I get to the bead, I'm gonna cut my excess. And then the ribbing on this fly is gonna be just your standard silver wire. Um, this is in brassy size. Um, I, you, you pick the size of wire that's gonna complement the size of the fly. Um, so for this one being a size 12, I use brassy. Um, anything smaller, I'd probably go to a small wire. So now that I have my wire cut, I'm gonna sneak it up into the bead and do some securing thread wraps on that down the fly. Now because the body of this fly is uh, thread wraps, it's not the pheasant tail. The pheasant tail is just the, the, the tail fibers for the fly. Once I get secured down to the bend of the hook, I'm gonna actually come back and I'm gonna make sure that I have a nice smooth body from tail to the head and I want to cover up everything that I just tied in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover all that up and I'm going to start tapering the body slightly as I move forward. Once I got that done, I'm going to whip finish at the head just so I can secure my thread. And put that in my thread holder. Now I'm going to take my silver wire and I'm going to run it up the body of the fly. I like tight and consecutive wraps with this. Um, I want there to be some segmentation, but it, I like my segmentation to be really tight with this pattern. I think it just adds a little bit more pop and flash to the fly. Once I get it up to about where I want to start my thorax, I'm going to come back with my, uh, my thread and I'm going to secure that wire down. it with a couple wraps and I'm gonna break it off. Now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna build up a little bit more of a, a thorax here. And I'm gonna take my uni floss, which is gonna be the wing case of the pattern. I'm gonna take a strand of uni floss and I'm gonna tie that in at the thorax. So I like to take the tip of it Moisten the tip of my fingers and, and make sure that that floss isn't going to go anywhere. And I take it and I tie it right in at the top of the thorax. One solid wrap, come back, cover that up as best I can, and now my, my wing case is tied in. The next rest, part of the recipe calls for uh, just your basic black rabbit dubbing. Um, I'm going to take a small pinch of the rabbit dubbing. I'm going to dub that onto my thread. This is now going to be the thorax of the fly. 
Um, another uh, substitute I've used for ra rather than rabbit has been uh, John Romer's Arizona Simi Sue. He has a really cool color called black and red that I've used in this pattern just to add more red to the fly because I, I really do think the red is key in getting the fish to eat. Um, so that's a good substitute if you want to play around with this pattern. Now that my thorax is dubbed in with that rabbit dubbing, I'm going to take my wing case or the floss and I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to tie that off as well. So I do two securing wraps on top and then I pull the floss up, tighten it and do one in front of it. Once that's done, that floss isn't going anywhere. So you can cut it. And then the last part of this fly calls for uh, your leg material. So the legs that are gonna splay from the thorax. And the, the actual recipe I believe calls for just your basic like crystal polar flash. Um, and this is where I deviate from the pattern a little bit. I like to tie in red crystal flash as my legs. Um, once again, I think red's the key to this fly. And so I think this just adds to its catching ability. But that could just be me. So I'm gonna tie, I'm gonna take the two strands of red flash and I'm gonna tie it in on one side. I'm gonna give it two wraps. I'm then going to take the two other strands and I'm gonna fold them over and I'm gonna do two wraps. And now you'll notice that the fly, for the most part, those legs splay on their own. Not much needed to keep those secure. Now I'm gonna whip finish. So there's my first whip finish. I'm gonna do another one. Once that's done, cut the thread. And then I take my legs, I tighten them up, and sniff them. And those still seem a little bit long to me, so I'll just come through. Just trim them down. And there you have it. That's the Spencer Hygas SOS. Um, it's a killer pattern for freestone rivers or a pattern that you can use when you're not catching anything. Um, it seems to do the trick for me and I hope it does the trick for you. If you have any questions uh, or you want to come and pick up the materials, feel free to give us a call here at the shop at 480-368-9280 or stop by www.desertsportsman.com. See you next time guys.